Hello everybody, welcome to a new Legacy video. I'm playing uh, uh, more Legacy these days because the new um, Lord of the Ring cards are particularly impacting Legacy and uh, also because I love this format and uh, there have no, I've no, um, yeah, I just, I just want to, I have a lot of ideas in this format so I want to uh, get them down. Yesterday with uh, Trophy, we went 5-0 and with Delighted Halfling in uh, Legacy in 5 color Zenith deck that uh, you can see on my uh, YouTube channel in the previous days. And today, hopefully, we're going to do well as well with this archetype. So this is the deck called the Sultai Scam that I have uh, played in the past already. Um, the video actually w w did very well, so you can find it. Uh, but I want I have a new card to add, of course. That is Orchish Baumeister, uh, which is a, a card that I think is going to change the legacy. Uh, because the, the its abilities are uh, amazing. You have a ton of X1s in this format, as well as you don't have Renin 6, as well as you have a ton of card draws. So this card can both like come into play and kill like a Bilfus Strix, a Dragon's Ray Channeler, or a Dryad Arbor, as well as it makes your opponent uh, can trip into open mana scary. And it's not that you can't do that. If you put us two mana up, you gotta you gotta play your ponder or uh, God forbid your brainstorm. And when that happens, you deal four, you made a four four. If you play this in response. Or if this is in play, you know, like like these things will happen. Like similar to Narset, where it comes into play and does something and praises your opponent. Obviously like your opponent will still resolve the brainstorm. So if they play like Sneak and Show for example, they will still fulfill the plan, but you know, um, the rest of the deck has the grief, pa uh, grief reanimate package. So this was again uh, something new uh, that wasn't really popular in Legacy, but it was very good in this archetype, I think. Because um, yeah, like basically, against like, combo, you can do the thing where you go grief pitching whatever or choose Baumeister, and then you reanimate. You take out their two best card, but even like in later of the game, or or just you know tempo play, you cast this with no mana left, um, and it's gonna be good. So. Uh, I like this deck. I went, uh, uh, I played it at a four season. I did well. Uh, I finished 25th. That was a over 400 people event. Uh, 6 2 1. And uh, I'm happy to play it again now. Uh, for Uro, it's it's what I love to do uh, with that deck. I added Grace because you have Orchish Baumeister, uh, a mass token to sacrifice. My problem with Grace was that you didn't have anything to sacrifice. You didn't want to sacrifice a beautiful streak. So it was kind of clunky there. Uh, but I think with uh, with the orc it's fine. I cut um but I'll push. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this obviously like this is gonna be make me worse on the draw, but I didn't know that you do have grief and four, so you do have eight zero mana card on the draw. Maybe too many two drops, but we'll see. Um Leobold Baumeister is kind of a nombo. Uh it is, but Leobold Leobold is just a good card overall and it gets pitched to both force and grief and I think you can accept that. I think you can accept that. If I play for Wasteland, this deck is very weak to uh, Urza Saga. Actually, when you play against the deck with Urza Saga, you should slow roll your Wasteland and just only target the Urza Saga. Plus, sideboard, you have for Nietzsche's Deed. I have a lot of anti combo things because, well, combo is always there on Magic Online League, this especially. So, uh, we are ready uh, to start uh, the Legacy Day. Welcome, everyone. It's nice to see all of you here gathered. Uh, Legacy is not a format that gets um, you know a lot of play, but I think it's extremely fun, and um, it is so in Magic Online as well. Whereas maybe a format like Popper, it's much more fun in paper than than on Magic Online because uh, yeah, the, the deck selection I think is way more fun. Whereas in Legacy, I think the decks uh, online are also fun. And also playing against a combo deck online is better because you just finish quickly and you go to the next match. Whereas if you're like, I don't know, in a, in a 500 people tournament to play against combo, you finish in 10 minutes, then you have 15 minutes to wander around. Which is not bad. I do like that part of magic. All right. That's, that's a key for me. All right, let's go. Mr. Rainforest, go. Seems like the recent bans in Legacy have opened everything up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We talked about it in the podcast how there was an SCG con 10k held on MTG Melee in America, and they had the stats, right? And like among the fourth best deck, all of them had uh, below 47 win percentage. Okay, I play against Painter. Hmm. 
uh, that card, this this card is extremely good, but it dies to the uh, it dies to the um, Orch Orchish Bowmeister. Let's let let's hope to draw it. I guess. Let's hope to draw it. I think I go land go. I want to go brainstorm. Oh, I guess they might have run on with the blast, so I kind of need to go brainstorm now. Hmm. I want to keep all the wastelands. Wasteland's good in this matchup. They have Urza Saga. I don't want to waste on the Great Furnace. Because they can like bring it back into play immediately with or uh, with Goblin Welder. If I had Wasteland mana off, I would be able to kill it immediately. Alright, Golden Engineer is too good. I have to daze this. They might have Seaman Spirit Guide. I just hope they don't have it. Um, I'm gonna shuffle my deck. And then I'll Wasteland the Saga. I told you, it's very important to Wasteland the Saga. If I Wastelanded the Great Furnace, my opponent would just reanimate it with Mox Opal. And then it would have killed the Mox Opal, which I don't think I want to do. Alright, so my deck has... Uh, I think I'm just going to get Trop. Of course, now I can't cast black cards if I draw it. But if I drew a, bow a Bowmaster, I would have... I don't know. Anyway, easy uh, easy kill that. I don't want to go Grief. I'll, I'll just pass the turn. Why don't spend the mana on days? Uh, one land was tapped. Days cost two mana. I love to answer questions. Just please make them, make them, make them good. Uh, all right. Fable unfortunately cannot be answered right now. All right. Maybe I should have grieved the fable. Anyway, let's see if I can draw the orcs. Okay, go grief. Congo grief uh, reanimate. Of course, before fable is kind of awkward. Ooh, I could have. Um... Ah, I think I lose now because they have welder plus. Uh, that thing. They have Welder plus the, the Perfection Dragon Engine. But like, they would have been able to discard it anyway with Fable. Yeah, in the hindsight, I think I should have, should have griefed uh, last turn. Opponent is gonna be able to do the thing with the production dragon engine, which is very powerful. It's a very powerful thing. They discard hydroblast. Did they keep the the the, the land? Okay, that's weird. I played against the mono red painter a lot that fourth season. I played against it three times. Definitely the deck I played against the most. All right, so the discard their card, draw three. Card is good. I had in my sideboard Gaia's Blessing, and finally enough, I used it. I never really um, got decked and shuffled my deck, but I used it to shuffle away the Persian Dragon Engine one time. All right, I think I want to trade here. Don't really know what I'm doing though. I feel like I'm just clicking buttons around and just losing this game. I don't want to wasteland. I'd rather keep the mana to uh, cast Ura next turn. They don't have any good artifact to reanimate. Fable again? Yeah. Classic. Classic, just Fable carrying anything.
Alright, Druidy Orcs. Is it too late, though? Kinda late, yeah. Go for Uro, hoping it can carry the game. I'm not gonna waste on the Great Furnace. It really is uh, a meaningless play. Gotta keep it for Urza Saga. What if you just exchange treasure for? I don't know. I mean, they're probably gonna exchange this for something. Yeah, exactly. And then draw three more. Yeah, Orc. I mean, obviously, Orc here would have been great. If I drew uh, a land here, it would have been great. I think I needed to go Uro. And I could have drawn a um, you know, black land. I could have played it, killed this. I'll put a cant loot, or I'm going to kill something else. Anyway, this card a Fable and Sima Spirit Guide. They can just draw three again. Pyroblast. All right, I'll, I'll give up. The, the, the Goblin Welder train value is definitely something that you should handle in. Yeah, I was not able to. Where, where is it? Monoret Painter. I was cutting. Force of Wills and Days, and I'm to Turek. Okay. Uh, Force of Will and Days, I was cutting. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Yes. Uh, okay, please, opponent. Start with land uh, Goblin Welder now. Last last game they started with Land Goblin Welder. I did not have the Bowmeister and lost the Welder. Goblin Welder is obviously like that. Like it's so easy to kill, but if you don't kill it, you're just not gonna beat it. You're just gonna lose to it. Yeah. By the way, uh, today there's gonna be a, a. I mean, today on stream, I don't know. YouTube probably already happened. Uh, a, a Channel Fireball announcement where they're gonna announce uh, how restructure the CFP Pro and uh, it's good news. It's good news for the people who uh, enjoy my content and uh, couldn't uh, read it in the past uh, year. Okay, let's begin the game two against Painter. Underground Seago. Like I said, we are Wasteland. No need to start with Fetch Land here. Alright, come on. Let's go land Goblin Welder opponent. I bought my Bowmeisters for 34. I believe they're still around that. Yeah. Yeah, 34. That's the price of the card. The Alfling went up 5 ticks since yesterday. The one ring is still extremely high. Everything else is not that relevant. All right, here's a saga. Go get lantern, sure. I wasteland that immediately. So Kenzen, okay. You're off. Um, I don't care about Wasteland in Sokans, and <clears throat> my opponent probably had Ancient Tomb in the end, if they started with those, the Saga like that, so... And again, as I said in the deck deck, keep Wasteland for Urza Saga, against Urza Saga decks. This Fable? Alright. Counter. What to do next? Draw more orcs. I want to go for brainstorm. I can also go Uro since I don't really have much to do anyway. If I play Magus of the Moon, I pack it up. But outside of that, I think it's fine. We'll go Ura right now. Alright. Allah. 
we'll see. Okay, so they pass. Not necessarily because they don't have lands. They might also just don't want to crack the city of traders. Okay. I think I have a cool play here. It's Witherbloom Command. Uh, mill three and shrink your Goblin Shaman. They can't so get lantern. Um, yeah, I got back a fetch land. Then I go for a bayou and I uh, bow my bowmeister the goblin shaman. And pass. Now there's the Bowmeister in play, and you can't, uh, uh, and you can't draw with Fable. I mean, you, uh, I guess you can. Just not take two damage and make my orc into a three-three. Lucas. <laughs> Welcome, Lucas. Thank you, thank you for the prime sub. All right, so you decided to do that, to discard two lands, and uh, sure. I mean, again, this is not who Breach or Narsa. You're still going to draw the cards. So say you make my thing into a 3-3 and you take two, which I guess is not, like, that big of a deal. It's really, like, S percent, you know. All right, they're playing in Snaring Bridge, sure. Asia tube. They pitch Siemens Bridge Guide. And they play Engineer. Mm -hmm. Which put in the graveyard now. Painter Servant. Okay. You have one card in the end. You exile my graveyard, of course. All right, then. Draw. Okay. Uh, what do I do here? I think I want to start with Brainstorm. Okay. I don't necessarily need these two. There's not wasteland all your lands this turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'll uh, put on top like these two. I want to attack with all. Oh, there's the near bridge. I didn't think about that. I definitely want to attack with this orc. Yeah, I think it's free. Like, they can't really block. Um, then I think I want to do the Uro. Let's put Bowmeister stack. Yeah. yeah, they do, but I can't kill this at the moment. I was going to go land Uro and double Wasteland, I think. I think it's the best use of my mana. They flip mountain, so they can switch the bridge with maybe lantern for the Uro. We'll see. I think I know the top of the deck is a strict, so I'm gonna dig deeper here. Draw a card. Another Uro. Do I keep on attacking with this? I think so. If they block with reflection, I think I'm happy.
a do I I think I'll just play a Strix. Should probably not play land first. Alright. When decides to not uh switch the bridge. They have now access to reflection plus engineer. Okay, they can get the uh, Dragon Engine in the graveyard if they want to. Not gonna talk with the orcs anymore. Hmm. Attack for two. I don't want to grieve. Hmm. No, not really, because they're gonna just draw three new cards in the end of turn. I need to draw some. I need to draw some things like some 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 interaction. All I draw is Uros. They can I still got land from my grave here, but I guess I don't care. And I don't want to cast this grief like this. They're moving around with a million creatures. I might die to Painter Servant and uh, Grindstone as well. Yeah, they put Grindstone in the graveyard. They they, they could have reanimate Painter. They don't want to. Makes sense. Like, I don't know. I just need to draw some interaction. Alright, I don't even have Wasteland anymore. Hmm. Of the moon, I just can't beat that card. I think I lose. I think it's over. Yeah, I can't beat that card. I need to draw more interaction, and all I drew was uh, some more creatures. GG. Not the best game. Not the best game for the deck. Eventually, my opponent would have beat me with a combo, but uh, yeah, I, I could have, I could have cast any card if there's a Magus in play. I mean, not that many regrets. Maybe the only regrets is that I built a deck with too many creatures for Legacy game. Maybe it's that I should inside out force. Like if I force over some number of Ur and Strikes, it would be good. It's just that I don't know. All right, let's go. On the draw against Evolved 22. A Moon Red Moon? I don't understand uh, what this card does. I mean, I guess you can draw some cards eventually. Yeah. You can draw four cards. Okay. Bionic Relay. Yeah, 
things are Lance Diamond and Gamble. They don't just like a land. Plus, again, maybe they draw some cards. I don't know. Unlikely, but they, they could. So they go Lance Day Diamond Gamble. I guess with Lance Day Diamond, I can use this ability and then I can cast this. If they use the Vindicative uh, Flame Stoker ability, I can uh, play Eagle Meister. Or is it a casting gamble? I guess it's okay. They put in the Gregor Mishra's bubble. The Pitch Simon Spirit Guide, the Crackland's Eye Diamond, they use the Vindicative Flame Stalker ability. Alright. Yes, I can do this now. I don't know if it's good for a screenshot, but I'm just gonna do it. That's a, I might die regardless. But for now, it's just I get a five five, and you take four. But you drew four cards, so that might not matter that much. Again, this is not Hope Breacher. No, Hope Breacher would have won the game. This card is just making a five five and dealing you four. Yeah, exactly. You go to like relay, and who cares, right? Anyway. Let's see what you flip. Mox Opal, Ancient Tomb, Gamble. Well, Gamble's scary. Okay. Gamble is scary. Draw. What is Brainstorm? I'm looking for Force of Wills. Don't find them. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I know Bridger costs three. I know, I know. I'm just saying the 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 card effect is not it's not as impactful as uh, the other one. Anyway, uh, we want to go for brainstorm. Is there a card I want to find that I might cast on one mana? Uh, maybe maybe grief and reanimate. Nah, I only have one card in it. I guess I would grief if I find it. Reanimate here is it is it worth? I guess I can reanimate Burgi, sure. I guess I can reanimate Burgi. It's fine, right? I die like. I could have stayed up for mana for this. Maybe opponent sucks this and then they die if I had the second one. If I find if I find grief though, like their card in it must be good. I'm not must, but might be good. Alright, so they go with Vindicated Flame Stoker first. Sure. Yeah, it's likely that I should have stayed up for or or Orkish Baumeister. And that's the cool thing of, you know, playing against these decks. Because they're new, so you don't know exactly what to expect. I mean, I'm either dying now or winning next turn, so... It's all happening this turn. My opponent can gamble, but they can't get Echo Beyonds because they die. I would say that normally gamble plus Lionside Diamond is a combo with Echo Beyonds, but not if your opponent has the Orc in play. Alright, I concede. Alright, I mean, this card put a lot of pressure on them, like out of nowhere. Like they died on turn whatever four because of the Orc. I 
don't know if I want the surgical. They're probably not very good. Maybe they are. Uh, Strix is just that you can't, you can never cut Strix in this deck. You have, it pitches to both three from fours. I don't know. I feel like Surgical is always a trap. Electro Oof must be good in here. That's a good hand. Acron Mox. Defense Grid. Okay. And I draw a black card. Black card. I don't draw a black card. Team Land. Thank you, Team Land. Welcome for the fourth month. I think I'm just gonna go brainstorm main phase. A very rare brainstorm main phase. Turn one. Fortunately, I did not uh, find any black card, so I have to go great pitching uh, uh, reanimate. All right, my opponent has nothing. Good luck, opponent. Thank you, thank you, Tim. They have petal plus two mystery cards. Because of the bubble. Draw. I honestly don't want to wasteland. I'd rather shuffle. And pass. I knew the top card was bad, that's why I I shuffled instead. Draw. Okay, nice. Uh yeah, let's go wasteland your shadows goes mashing. Then I can wait of them command, destroy the defense grid, and return the the Wither Bloom command. Sorry, the wasteland. You 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 what, when you play this card, the more you play this card, the more you find, like, extremely good targets. Like, at the tournament I played, I killed, you know, anything. Like, from Stuff of the Storytelling to, I don't know, a Grafty Grass Cage, which actually hoses this deck a lot. A lot, yeah. You just find, like, a lot of things that you maybe didn't think of before. I think I want to go Brace from here. Nice. This is good. Uh, let's put on the bottom two cards that, um, yeah, it's probably gonna be, like, land, like, these two in a row, like, this two. So now I can go land, I have my counter spells up, I don't care about ponder, because I like the top cards anyway. Next turn I go fourth mana, art cast, grief. There's also a play that comes up a lot with this deck. Four cards. A lot of pot, that's weird. Uh, well, I think I think Seaman Spirit Guide. No, if I put in draws lands, I diamond, they wheel, so definitely not locked up. Now, now, now I play Leo Vold, so it should be locked up. And I guess I can grape shot it. Hmm. But I can go. Can they cast Loader Puck ever? No, right? You can't cast this card. Yeah. So even if they draw Lines I Diamond, they can't grape shot my Leo Vold. Oh, 
Also, if they Grape Shot my Leo, I'll draw three cards, so I maybe draw fours. All right, they can see. Okay. At the tournament, I faced a ton of various combo decks, and uh, I beat them all. I lost to Death Shadow, and I lost to Eight Cast. And in the side event that I went forward to on, on Saturday, I lost to Monorad Painter, but I beat two others the next day. And I lost to... What was the other loss? Oh, just Cat Control. Yeah, that was not a good matchup. But maybe the Orchish Baumeister can help me there. Caleb was playing 8 cast with the 1 ring. Ooh. Yeah, I still need to purchase the 1 ring. That's definitely a card I need to I need to buy. Uh, next week I'll uh, I'll make some videos with it. Later I'm also making a video with another new card. I'll do some preview. Uh, it's gonna be the Aragorn and the King of Gordor. Gondor. In just get control. You can already find the deck list on uh, the mission mark deck. Yeah, he's gonna shout out a little bit the exclamation mark deck command. Uh, you just use it, and then you, it opens you this page with all my decks, as well as uh, affiliate uh, affiliate link track code. So that if you if you if you shop from TCG Player with this link, like opening up this page, buying things is gonna track that it came from me, and I get um, an affiliate uh, link from there. So if you buy from TCG, uh, that is that that is a way to support the stream. All right, his end is whatever, but it has force of will and lands. Like you really cannot mulligan hands with. Force of Will and Lands. Island? What's that? Ponder? Island Ponder. A typical legacy start. Used to be Island Delver, and now it's Island Ponder, I think. I guess it was Volcanic Island Delver, and now it's just Island Ponder. I think it's the most common start. Sometimes you draw these reanimates and they're rather clunky. No Orchish Baumeister in response to this brainstorm, unfortunately. Would that be nice? That can be either a just get control deck or a sneak and show deck. Okay. I'll grab Undergrunt Sea Bayou and I'll play the Uro with Wasteland, I think. You can also sometimes reanimate your Uro, but I couldn't here because I didn't have black mana in hand. All right, it's not foul. Forgot I had this in the deck. Would have been good against Painter. Let's see. Now I could be just you know show and tell force of Omniscience die. Yeah, Orkish Baumeister would have been excellent in this game. Put and played a ton of cantrips. Bottom boat, okay. Yeah, Asian Tomb.
There it is, my brainstorm. Okay. And that's the orc. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't have much going on, unfortunately. I can go with the Bloom Command just to mill the top card. Yeah, I think I should like to do that. The world where I milled the tropical island here. You don't want to mill the tropical island here. It is just mill, uh, mill Uro. So let's do this. Let's do this. And I feel like I want to go land go. Okay, they're tapping the tomb for an impulse. Okay. Now I'm going to wasteland the tomb. I would have wastelanded an upkeep. Yeah, that is Omnitail for sure. They might play Days. I, I might I want to keep it reanimate because if I draw grief, it's very good to have reanimate. Oh, but say you made that. Okay. That's an old uh, that's an old card. <laughs> draw. Grief. Grist. Not grief. I wish she wasn't grief. A lot of grist. Hmm. I think I'll reanimate Uro here. I pass. And now this is an important clock, and although obviously my opponent next turn can go show and tell, then I don't have an answer for it because it comes off of uh, Boseju. Maybe there was another mistake in this game. It was to. Hmm. All right, let's try and do this. See how it will go. Hopefully, well. I can force their force. Since I can't really force their show and tell anyway. Alright. Once again, though, you will resolve your, your brainstorm. You just take 30. I hope they have em um, Grizzled Brand. Even Emrakul is fine because I can kill it with Grist. <laughs> if they go Omniscience, I lose. Like Land Omniscience, Emrakul. Well enough. I mean, they have seven cards. What? What? I mean, it's just that this deck is low. Like we're doing all of this at turn five, and legacy decks need to be a little bit faster against combo decks. Well, it will lose to omniscience. That's the card we lose to. I think we beat a single creature. Like any any one creature, it is we beat it. I mean, they might not have it. They, they, they're digging. They're, they might not have Omniscience or Show and Tell. Wish I had Days here. It would have been good. Uh, do I want to force this? I think so. Right? I think I want to. They still have priority. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Did it? Did it? Did it have six? I can't put, oh yeah, I guess I can't put Grace into play. You're right. Emra cooled. Woo! Okay. This Grace is a creature, so uh, you can put into play with uh, Show and Tell. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I would have just stopped three mana, but I guess they could have forced this. I have forced back. All right, GG. 
Our opponent's performance was not very impressive, I have to say. They take infinite and they didn't find much. Uh, the Onterax, uh, probably not. This is usually bad. And this is definitely bad. I mean, like, shouldn't the Emrakul wouldn't even, probably wouldn't even want even if I... Alright. Yeah, once again, you have these, these like, words and streaks, but... It's fine, like, you need blue cards for force anyway. Even if they're bad in this match, I'm like, or is it staying against decks like, I don't know, Blue Red Delver or... Any, obviously, just anything. You can't really go wrong with, with Uro. I haven't scammed uh, anyone yet. No Grey for Reanimate. Just very good against Shunt, though. Applying pressure and discarding two cards is really, uh, you know, all you want to do. Mystic Sanctuary tapped. All right. Sign of weakness, of course. Uh, I think I want to go brainstorm in my turns. So we're going to fetch an upkeep. Draw. Play brainstorm. Um, Ponder, I guess. So I wasteland. All right, I found grief, so that's good. So I'm gonna go Grief, Pitch, Strix, and I hope I put in Force, so I Force back, or rather I just reanimate. First you wanna I'll activate first and then, uh, okay, let's discard Flask Storm, this dies, and then I'll uh, reanimate. If it was a better creature, I could have, nah, that's not, uh, let's go reanimate. Boom. And that's the scam. Uh, do I want to just uh, take show and tell here? I think so. Go. What is Mono Blue? So they don't have sneak, a sneak attack. They only have show and tell. But they have the good art of it. All right, I was going to tap for a brainstorm, but I guess I'm just gonna uh, play this end of turn. Maybe even in response to impulse, honestly. Yeah, because if they get brainstorm and they don't main phase it, ooh, what's that? All right, now that I have up mana this way, I think I'm not doing it. If they tap two islands, I would have done it. All right, I play Ponder. Up then my Orc in response. Making a 2 2 deal in 2. That's 2 mana, 3 power, deal 2 to the face. Not outstanding, like you wouldn't play the card for this, <laughs> but that's okay. This applies more pressure. Like, my opponent's gonna be dead very soon, and it's just, and it's just turn 3. You know, I have a 3 2, I have 6 power on turn 3, and I still have. Double force in my hand. It's uh, hard to lose this game for sure. I'll ponder looking for a wasteland. Any order shuffled? Yes. Us. Ponder again, sure. Ping. Ping.
All right, easy game. Take a bathroom break and come back for round number four. All right, perfect time. That's cool. Round number four. Let's go. I think this is not great, but as I said, it is force of will and uh, some lands, so we gotta keep it. Yeah, I'll mission Sam Rocco wins the game. Usually. Looking for lands here. If I don't find land, I shuffle. If I find one land, I keep. Alright, I keep. There's also Ponder, which is good. And he changes to this deck. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm just... Yeah, I made some changes. I added uh, the Orchish Valmeister. The lighted Alfling, uh, it's not good here. Ooh, you go, you go Grief, Peach, Grief. Sure. I guess you're going to discard Force, and then you're going to reanimate and discard reanimate. Or we play short, or we play, uh, Reanimate her, so you just uh, you just did this for the. It could be a mirror match, or you could play Reanimator. I think it's a mirror match. Yeah, so you are able to discard Reanimate. Oh no, it's it's Death Shadow. Hmm. Okay then. Yep. Yep. All good. On top of that, I have a Ponder. I think my turn here is Wasteland Ponder. The, the next card is um, not great. I think it was the, this card is Uro, I guess. I don't know what's that sound. Oh wow, it's enough out. I guess you have Merkta Regent in end. I'll uh, shuffle these. I had two free spell. My opponent took them away. <laughs> Do they have a land? They don't. Alright, that's a good news. That's a very good news. Draw. Brick. Need to draw land. That's that's why I shuffled with Ponder earlier. All right, I drew a land. If I draw a land of mine, I do. Very nice. Go for grief. You daze me. All right then. You can you can wait for grave again. So you can pump the shadow. It's gonna be seven damage. Let's see if you have any follow up. Anything else? No. All right, draw. Wasteland. Okay. That's Wasteland. Right. 
brainstorm. Okay, I have a couple of plays here. One is to... Actually, no, actually, I don't have any couple of plays. I just have to play Uro. And then I'll go down to three. Then I need to, need to bring back Uro. And I'll go up to six. And then I can trade with Shadow. So assuming my opponent doesn't have any land nor force of wills, and I draw a green source, I can win this game. Otherwise, I lose. So yeah, that's my only play available here. All right. Um, <laughs> do I want to cycle with reanimate? I think it's fine. I think it's fine to cycle. What Jones ever said? Just literally cycling here. One mana, one mana draw card. Pass. I'm dead to a shock land. Uh, any land kills me. I did not gain three life because I lost three life in the first play, so we cast a reanimate. Alright, let me see my Cyber Plan against Shadow. I wonder if the orcs are good against Shadow. Force of Will only out. Really not that much in here, just loam, library, and that's it. I guess the orcish will be good then. <laughs> you just like snuff out. I usually play Merc Tide. Yeah, Deed is for Urza Saga. Not great. Uh, should I have the surgicals? Let me spare and force. Grief, pitch. Let's go grief, pitch. What do I pitch? Is it with one? Uh, with one that's fine. I don't want to reanimate. I don't want to pitch reanimate though. I think I pitch the the bowmeister. Nah, I'll pitch the reanimate. Seven cards in your hand. Okay, you didn't want Uh, what do I take? Do I take a thought from here? I think my hand is whatever. Uh, I think my hand is whatever, so Thoughts is, is also whatever. Just, what if I just take Ponder? No, it's okay, I'll take Thoughts. Is. Thoughts is and Ponder I'm gonna take. You would take the bird? I have the Bowmeister for the bird. I don't care about the bird. Why not get Basic Swamp after seeing the Wasteland? Because in Magic, you have to follow your deck. You cannot uh, take cards out of the deck. 
and uh, in my deck there are no basic swamps. So taking swamps with Mr. Rainforest would not be legal. Draw. All right, let's attack with Grief, and uh, I'll play Vernon Catacomb, I guess. Let me just play around days forever. Well, playing around days is easier when you have a 3 2 menace on turn 1. I could also have taken out two dazes there, but. Yeah, maybe. Alright. So the draw is water grave. Tapped. Wasteland? Ooh, my own days. Nice. I think I'll main phase orc, orc here. I'll main phase orc. Because if they cast a second land to play strikes, they can double days, whereas now they can only play one days. Some days on days action. And now, you know, you better not cast the strikes into Orc. I mean, not now, next turn. They concede. Yeah, easy. Alright, uh, all the force is back. I really don't. I mean, the surgical suck. Getting a couple of forced. All right, let's go. When it got boomeranged, <laughs> yeah, bouncing. I would bounce their land. Yeah, yeah. The the the, the days is definitely fun. The day's uh, aspect of legacies uh, makes makes the gameplay fun. All right, we have again grief reanimate with force backup. We need a black card though. Let's see if my opponent is gonna grief reanimate me first. Hopefully not. So far, whoever griefed to reanimate steamrolled the opponent. Come on, just go like watch for great ponder. Just do it. Just go ponder. Turn one ponder. No thoughts is all right. I'll allow it. I'll allow it, that's fine. I bought Bowmeister this morning before the stream. Also, all my all my um, all my leagues are usually done uh, online. Okay, the discard reanimate to make sense. Now the grave is kinda kinda clunking in. Draw a do I wanna get wastelanded? Nah, not really. I just go land go. Looks like I can force a foil now. Not that I want to, but I could. Island. See, that's fine. Pass again. It, no orcs here. Zeratu, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome for the 13th month. You have an up little splits badge over there. When it goes, ponder shuffle, ponder not shuffle. Patch and go. I believe they have an answer for my orc. They they must have either days or force. 
End of turn, I'm gonna play Brainstorm. Because they can't work me. They cannot work me. There a world where I well I wanna shuffle away force. I don't like force here. I'll shuffle away force and Elaine the thing. Lands are good though. Team straight. Wait, I don't put it as not play at work yet, no. I think I'm actually shuffling the grief. I like all these lands. I don't know, my dying flood. All right, so I think they have days. Come on, where are my spells? Spells, die, yeah. Catch and go. I don't care about wastelanding you. You do nothing. You can use your mana. Here, my opponent just said, mentioned something in the chat about Bowmeisters, how expensive they are. Are they listening to the stream? Opponent, if you're listening to the stream, not polite. If you aren't, it's okay. I don't think you've played any, any way ghosted me. I'm just saying, it's weird that you just mentioned that in the chat. <laughs> All right. Brainstorm. Hello, oh, Tashi. What am I playing today? Full Legacy Day. First bug scam, Soltai scam, and then uh, just got controller. It's just coincidence. Yeah, yeah, it must be. It must be just coincidence. Uh, they don't shuffle, okay. Yeah, should really play Modern for LMS Bologna or uh, uh, Lords of the Ring Limited for the PTQs on Barcelona. But I just want to play Legacy. Yes, Supple Song. If Quentin plays Brainstorm, you get a 4 4 and you deal 4 damage. Merc died. Days? No days. Do I have enough outs? Also done in days. Uh, yeah, I have enough outs. Also have force of fuel. That sucks. I didn't find much. All right. I'm gonna die to that. I guess I have Baleful Strixes. Come on, I also have Baleful Strixes. Please! Please, deck. I want to go brainstorm in the fern. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I should have brainstormed in response. I should definitely brainstorm your response. They're gonna they're gonna daze me hundred percent. That's okay though. Next time I can go Uro with a what? Dai, ma che madonna è ste carte di merda? Where the f are my answers? 
And yeah, I lose. Played a freaking four can trips. My hands suck. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. Dead. Mango is dead. Only bad cards. You'd be like, well, you put them in your deck. You know, I know, I did. I did put them in my deck. You are indeed right. Snuff out! Snuff out, please! They're also gonna surge on my Uro, I feel it. I'm gonna mill three? No, I'm gonna mill uh, all my good cards if I do that. Alright, please don't surgical me. And yeah, I think that sometimes I think it's fine to side in surgical against Uro. Not as bad as it looks. Alright, it's time to draw either Strix or. Alright. Sorry, complaining hardly worked. It's nice to see that uh, good old complaints always pay off at the end. Unclear if my opponent uh, will uh, be able to... I will lose to this regardless. Boom. Ulo. Does it resolve? On what do I want here? Snuff out. Snuff out is good. Brief. This is important. Not only does it resolve, it also has to survive. Combination of unlikely things. Oh, okay. First part done. Pass. Swamp? No, don't push me. Swamp Swamp? What's that? Ulak, my vibe, I discard everything you want. As long as you don't touch my strikes, you can discard anything you want. Looks like they can't. Yeah, looks like they don't have an answer to strikes. That's a good news for me. Oh wow, they passed on any type of grief. Well, okay, not bad, not bad. It's the chump attack time. Okay. Fake sneezing? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> or as draw another card here and pass. Oh no, they go force. Pitch days. Do I care? I don't care. Uh I pass now. I need to keep with the force for um for if they draw an answer to build those tricks. Alright, why doesn't this command work? Anyway, MTG bot is dead. 
No, I'm PG Bot. Why are you dead? All right. Um, three if you drew, huh? Okay. I kind of want to force. I feel like they're discarding force anyway. I feel like that Uranian does nothing. And forcing Ur is such a feel bad, honestly. Like, I'm just gonna, gonna bring it back next turn. Draw. All right. Green, green, blue, blue. They probably have a land in end, but whatever. I'm just gonna grief it anyway. I never waste landed because I envision spending eight mana in a single turn. Ooh, that's the orc. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grief here. I'll keep up the orc in case either my opponent draws brainstorm or say simply just attack with grief. I can go Orc, and then double block, Ura plus Amas token. You've been sub for 54 months? Really? Such a long time, my friend. Let's play the Orc. They can go 5 mana force, I guess. Whereas if I wastelanded, they couldn't. Seven and I double block. I really think you had a landing end to be honest. But anyway, for those who asked about Strix, if it's still good in the world of orcs, maybe it's less good, but you still need to play it to respect Merc Tide and DRC and etc. Plus, it's a blue and black for your pitch cards. Oh, they also ordered them wrong. They could have killed my orc army. Let's play Grief. Again, they had two lands in it. Like, it's... I'm so sure of that. Maybe the Daze. That's the card I can have. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I have land in it, yeah. And I pass now. Thank you, Buffalo Strikes. Buffalo Strikes won the game. Everything else is just noise. I guess Uro helped me playing around days very well and etc. And like the whole deck in general is reasonable to play the that type of game but when you delve with uro you usually you can't you don't care about anything you only care about lands because of with the bloom command and loam of course you can also reanimate whatever but i might put an add things in the graveyard as well hello arain good game good game well played you couldn't find an answer to the bird you could you know what you know what's an answer to the bird or Chish Baumeister. You could spend a whopping 130 ticks. You can get a playset. Actually, I don't know how to count. 140 ticks, actually. Let me check the price. Well, it went down. Classic Menguchi Finance. Went down of 3 ticks since I bought it three, 3 hours ago. Now it's only 32. Honestly, just the cheaper, the cheapest card I've ever seen. Why would you take out the stock list? I don't know. I'm not I'm not there making changes to lists. I'm a net decker. Actually, I made changes to this list. I 
All right, let's get the trophy. The opponent's playing the Orion. Ooh, we trophied yesterday with... I don't know why I said for the trophy. I'm 31. I'm not going to trophy. But um, it's a good record if I pull one. Anyway, play against Yorian, which we trophied with yesterday. The Wall Street Special, exactly. All right, we got lands here. Over point of wastelands is. Mamma mia, my guess, I'm mad about. Is it one orc? Yeah. I don't know, my friend. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, opening packs. I do enjoy some collectors here and there to support the store and have some fun. But I also bought my own, uh, my own orcs. Ledger Shredder. Remember buying Ledger Shredder for 12, then selling it for 40, and then it was 60. Then I bought it back for like 50 or something. That was my story with Ledger Shredder. When it's playing Teferino Paperino. Yeah, yeah, they're playing that five color Zenith deck. But a very weak start. Very weak start for them. Made a mistake. I, I I always forget that Grace kills the fairy. All right, whatever. Hopefully they don't kill my Grace. I should have killed the fairy, of course. Whoa! Five gifted subs. That's the price. Is that the price of uh, the orc? Anyway, Arain, if you wanna get them after my league, I can lend them to you. You you can give them back. When you want. Ay, 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 they answered my grist. But that's okay, I still answer your Teferi, so we are even. Thank you, thank you, Arain. And again, well played. I enjoy this game a lot, just, just casting my cards on curve, slowly. They won the ring. I'm gonna say Mato. Oh, opponent, what are you doing? Get that out. Get that out. Out of here, please. Thank you, thank you, Rain, and welcome to all the five people that joined. All right, your turn, you're in. Sure. Draw. We got Urus for days. It's a shame that I can't cast Ura this turn, though. Well, we do have Ura's for days. Hopefully I don't draw Fetchlands anymore. Ooh, Maracas. Yeah, let's go another land. Another Uro, and then a Maracas. No, finito de terra! No, finito de terre, chat! Why is the tropical here? How did it get here? I milled it with grist. Ma guarda te la sfiga. All right, I pass. And now they have Caracas plus whatever. Die, nah, I milled it with grist. Come on. How is that possible? Well, if I put it wastelands me, I don't have double green anymore. <laughs> Please don't wasteland me. You drew Brainstorm? Ooh, that's good. That's very good. Right, right, right. I can return it with the command. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a weak command, though. But, yeah. That's true. Anyway, opponent is 14. My, hopefully, I didn't find a plow. You want the fourth green source. I mean, it never really came off of me, so I think it's fine, like this. Please don't plow me. 
Nice. Alura first. I want to wasteland your Caracas so that you can't bounce my Uro. And then Uro. Boom. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque. Boom. Force. And forcing the Uro flashbacked is just so nice. Like, such a good feeling for me. Because I'm gonna cast it again next turn. Maybe. Maybe not. Do I have more C's in my deck? I think I have one more. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I can. Uh is your in still in end, Babine? Oh, this is grief just honest. Hey? What's going on there? Are you casting Uro? Is that what's happening? All right. That's okay. I don't know why I would do such play, but I guess it did it. Drop. Uh, so actually, so I was going to go Uro from the graveyard with with a blue command, but I think I just want to go Grief instead. Discarding the Orion is good, not because it blinks anything, just because. All right, they also have Teferi. I think Teferi is just weak on this board state. Like, what does it even do? I think I'll just go Yorian. I mean, I can bounce my strikes, I guess. Anyway, let's go with the Loom Command here. Yeah. A mill three. Uh, drain you. It's not exciting. Oh, I can wasteland you. Maybe I should do that, actually. I don't know how many white sources you have. Maybe you don't have another one? Maybe you don't have you, you don't have Scrubland. You don't have Tundra. Yeah, you know what? They might actually not have. Should probably attack with Strix. Yeah, I punted here. Six. You had a nine. It would have been a five. You had a you had eight. Now you wouldn't die anyway. Hmm. I'll let it go through. Simply because it, Okay, now now you must have a, a play for Teferi. Although like casting Teferi here is just not great. I think it's okay. I think I take this. What's happening? You possess you my Strix. Wow. And I don't have any more green sources. Sorry, lands. Okay. I wouldn't have blocked anyway. Uh, now they must have. They must have. What do you do there? Tundra. I don't know. I don't know. I had a bunch of choices. Maybe I didn't play well. Uh, and now they know I have grief, so they probably are going to draw land here with Ponder. Although it's not great to draw land with Ponder. Not, yeah, they draw land with Ponder. Okay. Draw. And this is all blanks. Like straight up blanks. You think they have more white sources in their deck? I think I don't mind milling my opponent. Currently, Mr. Cards, that you return a land. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna mill my opponent and return a um, Wasteland and Wasteland your Tundra. Is that a good play? So I definitely wanna mill you with the blue command. The question is, should I should I return Tropical Island? I think so, so that I can go Uro and flash it back after we trade. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So you mill three and I return a land and I drain you. So you mill three and I drain you. Green black. But you mill three. You mill Supreme Verdict, Spell Pierce, Orc. Whatever. And I get Trop. Now I play Trop. And I get back Uro. 
Then I exile uh, these cards. I also have reanimate in my deck that I haven't drawn yet. Could be cooler. Brainstorm. Uh, do I want to play one of these lands? I guess so. I can go brainstorm. I'll go brainstorm snuff out, I guess. I think it's not the worst. Okay. Uh, I have to shuffle some cards here. What are bad cards? I think I want to hold Ur in case they draw Plow. Yeah, I think I want to hold all the Orcs. So I'm going to put this two back. Ah, so then I can shuffle into nothing. I guess I'll shuffle immediately. And pass. I'll put in Bauma. Yeah, they do. All right, I'll pass. Uh, the one is not out immediately. I think so. And now F6. No, you can't reanimate Uro. But you would have done it regardless, I think. Yeah, this 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 game has been good. This game has been fun. Exactly why I like Legacy. All right, they found Wasteland. They're gonna take away my triple green, which has been a which is, which has been a bane so far in this game for me. All right, attack with both when it has to trade. Uh, do I want to put that into play? I don't think so. Uh, I think Lafa was good there. I don't know. Like that attack, they gain three life, and then I don't know. Maybe, maybe shouldn't have done it, but whatever. Uh, let's go green, green. I think I wanna. All right, blue, blue. Oh, I don't want to play Leobold. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, I think Leobold's great. I mean, they have a Snuff Out in the Great. Uh, sorry, they have a Supreme Verdict in the Great here. Hopefully, they don't draw another one. But now the Uro will not uh, make them draw cards, unlike Orcish. I'm sure you can draw green, man. Says the Leobold flavor text. All right, good game. Aura bottle is fun. All right, I want to put some surgical in for the aura bottle. I think so. Uh, tracks, library, loams. Go on the force of negation for the planeswalkers. Yeah, maybe. Narset is a pain. Narset is very hard for me to deal with. So I can cut those uh, eight cards. I think I like to shave on reanimates. The fact that sometimes they're quite bad. Also, they might decided surgicals, making them even worse. The thing is that in theory, Strix is never too good, but in practice, it's just both blue and black for your pitch cards. So. It's always fine to have an end. All right, I have the grief uh, plan. Hopefully they don't have surgical. I guess they need to have surgical and something else, so it's okay. Will my targets orcs? Yeah. All right. Do I want to pitch the orc, or do I want to pitch the with the blue command? I think I'll pitch the orc. Alright, 
I think I want to discard the, the two removal spells. I guess Prismatic Ending doesn't do too much. But so does the Orc. I guess the Orc can double block the Grief. As bad as that sound. Alright, anyway, let's discard Plow first. And then let's reanimate. I'll uh, discard the orc. But if ending Pierce land, though. Put it or draw Narset, because that would be uncounterable. Yeah, they just return Yorian. That's okay. Draw. I'll pass here. I don't have much to do. Uh, yeah, I guess we're casting the orc in response. Does it resolve? Does it resolve? Is opponent writing a message to wizards? Saying, wizard, stop punishing Brainstorm. Ooh, opponent says, muchos ouch. Which makes me think they don't have an answer. Bing! We got a screenshot. So I'm gonna ping, ping, ping. All right. Got a four four, and we kill the creature, and we got two to the face. Um, not bad. You play your own orc. All right. Kill my orc. you got more triggers you can read the card uh, it's uh, under my camera all right let's go my turn I'll uh with open command I guess they have spell beer so and nah, I'd probably shuffle it away let's guess with a command mill and uh, yeah so mill and shrink Oh, this I'm doing doesn't work with Bowmeister. There's the uh, same, same reason as a uh, shield would. All right, you spell pierced. Uh, do I want to play fours? I think so. Let's see if I find a land. I do, very good. With the blue command, delivering, as always. The bomb. I guess also top deck Orc Baumeister after pitching into Grief, so that also helped. You plow my Amas token, all right. And you play Ponder. You have one card left, and I believe it to be the Yorian, unless you shuffle it away with Brainstorm, which is likely. It's very likely. Ooh, low. Hmm. Maybe not great now, but next next turn. Yeah, bye. Your opponent is on three. Let's play Uro. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll definitely wasteland something. Uh, I think the the bayou because you don't have black mana this way. But if you draw orc, you can't cast it. Because you can't cast your in if you kept it in end. That the fairy endurance. Oh no. All right. Oh no, this is bad. Endurance is very bad here. Ooh, this is good, but now should I play loam? Hello, Russian crushing. Welcome. When is on three? Should I play loam? So if I play loam, next turn I can dredge it. But if I break, I I miss a draw step and everything. So I think I just pass here. Well, it's trend. Again, I don't know if you have urine in hand or not because you brainstormed, but you might. Okay. When in doubt, let's let's kick her this Karak here. Let's see if you have urine in hand or not. You did. Alright, good. That would have been good. So I have two three twos. They're both next turn I'm lethal. Who has zero cards in hand? Next turn I'm lethal. Because this is menace. Let's see if they break, I win. Mm, not really gonna ask it twice. I'm just gonna attack here, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you have plow, you blow up everything. I know, but maybe should I play Leobo first in case of plow. What's that? Press down. Oh no. Ah, oh, they removed the. They removed the. Um... Menace. Oh, that's a big deal. Okay. Neutral plow? Porca puttana. Va bene, va bene, va bene. And honestly, like, if I played this pre-combat, it would have been much worse. Because they would have played Leopold in dress down in response, and then they would have plowed my Leopold as well. But that was an insane uh, sequence of draw there. Wow. They were like dead, they drew just into that. Alright. We're playing. 19 to 3, so still in a fine shape. And you drew plow again. My pork. Okay. Eighteen. Draw. Poor. Poor. Strix. Okay. Uh do you wanna go fetch loam strix dredge? What does that achieve? Mm, nothing really, I think. Yeah, let's just go straight. And pass. I don't want to dredge. I know that if I dredge, I might find Uro, but I think I'd rather just draw cards at random. Yeah, and then uh, eventually I'll play the one ring, yes. Right now. Uh, I don't plan to. Okay. Draw. Babine. Good draw. Attack. I simply think it's not the game of uh, this card now. Wow. What an amazing card, Strix. Uh, do I have the uh, tropical was left about that? Yes, I do. All right, so let's go blue, black, Strix, draw. Whoa, I love it. I love the Strix. Strix, bro, there was three Strix in a row. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Thank God I never dredged. Whoa, this this is good. The wisdom and command is good. Because it wins the game next turn. All right, I want to have Surgical and Endo. Is it, is it fine? No, I don't think so, no. No. I'll just have this in hand, since it's going to come up on the next turn. Go. Yeah, those quads. Yeah, I quad, I quad burned. <laughs> I think we got this. What's this? Aura? Teferi. Okay, now we win. Woo-woo-woo! 4-1.
What did we lose to in the first round? I don't remember. What did we lose to in the first round? I think it was a close match. Shadow? Really? Was it Shadow? I don't think it was Shadow. I remember that. All right, GG. Okay, we won zero one into four one. Good league, good good league, good deck. Uh, happy with it. Wouldn't change a card. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for the legacy videos if you want to watch more. Bye.